hello guys you can see that there is a turbine blade and today I am going to show you how to draw this turbine blade in SOLIDWORKS so let's begin just click here and take a new window okay now go to sketch and from here select top plane sketch okay now select circle and from the center point draw two circles okay now go to smart dimension and take the diameter of the inner circle is 130 millimeter and the bigger one is 410 millimeter okay now select center line and from the center point draw a center line vertical center line and select line and from the center draw one line and selecting line draw another line okay now go to smart dimension and the distance between them will be one degree angular distance <coughs> and the distance between these two lines will be two degree okay so in that case equal distance is maintained okay now select trim and trim this part also the inner lines also this part and also this part okay now one part is complete now exit now go to features go to reference geometry and click and select plane and just click on this arrow small arrow and select top plane okay now select this one 50 millimeter okay now check this one the distance between them is 50 millimeter now click on spacebar and click on normal to now go to sketch and select circle now circle and I need another circle okay on the plane now go to dimension and take this one 130 okay and this one 410 okay now again select center line and from the center draw a center line okay go to smart dimension and the distance from this center line to the second center line will be 8 8 degree okay now select line again okay one line now select line again from the center another line okay now go to smart dimensions and the angular angular distance between them will be like the previous one one degree and also between them will be 2 degree same distance okay now like the previous one select trim entities trim the outer circle okay now inner parts and also this part okay
now exit go to features and select re, uh, lofted boss or base and select these two parts okay so this part have been lofted now hide this plane now go to linear pattern and from linear pattern select circular pattern and for the parameters select the circle and for features just select loft and make this one 30 quantity 30 and equal spacing 360 degree okay so it will take some time so many features together just wait for a while okay it has come so we have got the blades now we need to make a hole inside just click here and click on sketch now click on normal to and spacebar and normal to now select circle at the center draw a circle okay smart dimensions the diameter will be 80 millimeter okay now select center rectangle and from this point draw a center rectangle okay now go to smart dimensions and make this one 20 millimeter and the vertical one is 15 millimeter okay now go to trim entities okay okay now go to features and select extruded cut and select through all okay now hole have been created you can check this one okay now our turbine blade now let's apply the material so just click click here and at first go to appearance and then metal and from metal go to steel and there are various types of steel just i'm just selecting one okay now we can make it perspective change the background not this one actually Rooftop. okay this one is better and we apply the color and there are so many colors need a solid color for this one okay and we can check the background again uh, our life not good okay uh, r1 type background no uh, our light is quite actually he pointed for it country background okay no problem just select anyone now our turbine is complete turbine blade is complete actually and i hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any question just make a comment
ask me in the comment box and if you like this video please make a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you are new in my channel and please press the like button and share with your friends thank you